Waiguchi ka kalsa, Waiguchi ki fate. My name is Gerson Singh. On Saturday, August 16th, I went to protest at Gurmukh Kar's yoga studio there in Hollywood, California. Now, she hosted a Hindu fire puja there and brought the Swami over from India. I protested outside the yoga center, which you can see here. She's got this huge uh, statue, an idol of Shiva on top of her yoga center, on top of doing these Hindu pujas. She's been setting a very bad example for Sikhs around the world and creating a really misrepresentation of the Sikh religion. The only communication she sent to me before this event was from her Golden Bridge Yoga Studio, which said that they didn't like uh, my Facebook uh, comments asking her to cancel this event. What I am opposed to specifically is that Gurmukhar uses Sikh names and Sikh uh, dress with her turban and her clothes. And she even wears a Sikh kanda. And she uh, does these unseek like and even anti Sikh practices. And you can see here the Sikh code of conduct says specifically a Sikh does not believe in Homa pujas, lighting of ritual fire and pouring intermittently clarified butter, food grains, etc., into it for propitiating gods for the fulfillment of a purpose. This is exactly what Gurmukhar was doing in this Hindu fire puja that she uh, performed and hosted there at her yoga ashram. This is no, no small matter. Sikhs need to write her. They need to write the other Yogi Bhajan followers who are participating in these events. I'm going to show you proof of the participation by other Yogi Bhajan followers in these unseek like practices. Sikhs are not Hindus. We do not believe in these worships of Hindu gods and goddesses. Yet Gurmukhar, for years now, has been uh, promoting these Hindu gods and goddesses and worshiping them. She's now importing this outrageous behavior here to uh, Los Angeles and to the United States. You can see here, these are pictures that I took from the sidewalk there. They're a little blurry because I had to take them through uh, the fence. But I want you to listen to what they're singing here. These are budgeons to uh, the Hindu god Krishna songs and worship of uh, Krishna. And it says right in our secret Rahat Mariata that we shouldn't worship other gods and goddesses. We only, we, as Sikhs, we only worship one god. And that's the one timeless true god. Now listen to this uh, video here just for a second. Okay, so I'm outside of this uh, fire puja at uh, Baruch's yoga studio in Hollywood. Okay, so then after I was there in the front, I went around to the back where I had a much better view uh, through their back fence of what they were doing here. And you can actually see the, the fire now at, in these uh, pictures here. And as you can see, that, like I said, there were many of these Yogi Bhajan followers who have been deceived by Gurmukhar and her practices into thinking that these are part of Sikh practices. They are completely against the Sikh Rahat, they are against Gurbani, Guru Nanak. Uh, he won victory over these yogis and said that these practices were completely unseek like. You can see here Gurmukh with this uh, Swami that she brings over from India. 
And she's done a lot of uh, these pujas with this Swami, and you can see his assistant there too uh, with him. So this is not the first time they, that she's been doing these things, but this is the first time that she started to import these unseek like practices to um, uh, the United States. It's really something that Sikhs need to stand up and, and voice a real demand to Sikhnet, to Gurmukh and these other Yogi Bhajan followers that they stop this. And if, if they're going to continue to be Sikhs, they cannot be doing these type of practices. Now you can see here where they're passing out these uh, sacred uh, wood chips that they are using in the fire and uh, passing them around to everybody. This is a purely Hindu event. Ekon Karkar from Sikhnet, who's one of the directors over there, wrote me a uh, little response on my YouTube channel where I was uh, asking Gurmukhar to cancel this event. And she said here, and I'll quote, she says, and you can see the YouTube um, uh, message that she put there. It says, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a Sikh participating in a sacred ceremony from any other religious tradition. And this is a direct quote from Ekon Karkar, who's one of the directors over at Sikhnet, which is part of this Yogi Bhajan group that Gurmukhar belongs to. So, again, we need to reach out to them. We need to tell them not to participate in these events and to stop doing this. You can see another Yogi Bhajan follower there with Gurmukh. Um, she's really leading them astray in all of this unseekly like practices. Now, I want to also point out to you how Gurmukh is wearing this red ruby ring, which she is using to channel these energies, as she calls them, from the different planets. Uh, Hindu believe that the different uh, planets and stars have uh, gods and goddesses that rule them. And so it's not just that she's um, doing some empty ritual. She believes in these, in these, in these uh, different gods and goddesses, these Hindu gods and goddesses, which is completely against Sikh teachings. Uh, we, as Sikhs, again, we believe in only one god. And she, the Skirmukkar, is actively uh, promoting the Hindu uh, vata, which is very dangerous, too. The Swami, um, he's that she brought over here is uh, part of this radical RSS uh, group and has many associates there. It's documented. And they want nothing more than to bring these white Gora Sikhs into, into Hinduism. That's their goal. Let there be no mistake about it. And the Gurmukhar and, Gurmukhar and her people, the Sikh net, they probably don't realize this, but this is the fact. And you can see how they're, they're getting duped into all these things. They think that there are magical practices and that um, uh, they will uh, help them in their salvation. Um, but this is all just nonsense, really. And as a Sikh, we believe, like I said, in one God. We believe in devotional service. We believe in uh, only chanting God's name. Now, here you can see Gurmukhar. She uh, has a, what's called a tika or bindi on her forehead. It's a jeweled red um, tika. Now this represents the eye of Shiva. You can see it right there. This is a devotion to the Hindu god Shiva. And you can look it up there. That's why pe people wear this uh, tika or bindi on their forehead like that. They, they think that it opens up their third eye so that they can see um, in, a, in a, a, cult, a cult way. They can see these um, uh, different energies and different, get different powers by opening up the third eye. And again, with this yogic ring she's got on here, too, is another um, uh, device she thinks of as, as channeling this energy. She's done many videos where she says she channels energy from Jupiter and a lot of really uh, completely unseek like um, practices. So this is not the first time she's done this. It's very, very disturbing how, to see how these 3HO people are getting involved in that. You can see the Swami there through the crowd. Now, I was way in the back behind in the alley where I was taking these pictures to the fence. So um, most of the time, the people have blocked the fire uh, where they're at. But they're, they're actually around the fire right now 
and they're putting the different um, wood chaps, the, the ghee, all these different things that are required for this uh, Hindu ceremony. Um, these ceremonies are just endless rituals. Um, and you can see again here, this is Gurmukh's husband with a jeweled necklace on too. So they use all of these um, different occult type practices to uh, suit their ends. You can see the fire here and you can see how uh, people are putting the wood chips in. So this was at the end when people had kind of dispersed and so I got some shots of the actual fire there. Um, but they, Gurmukhar and her husband and all these other 3HO people were around this fire doing this puja and chanting. So we'll now listen to a little section of a video uh, that I made there. Uh, I'm not able to show you the entire video because most of the time they're showing people's faces, which um, uh, they, uh, the 3HO people get them censored off of YouTube and they, they claim it's private. So that's the way they're censoring and not letting the truth out. Um, you should ask them what they're trying to hide. But they always try to censor my videos and try not to let Sikhs um, see the truth about what's really happening. I'm just recording what was really going on there. There's nothing I'm adding. Um, I'm not doing any kind of Photoshop here. This is absolute truth of what's going on there. And you can see here many 3HO people participating. I talked to Gramukkar uh, before, this before this ceremony happened outside and she, and I said, I asked her why she's doing this and I wanted to discuss it and talk to her about what Sikhs really think about this and she refused. She said that, uh, she said and I quote, she says, uh, we won't be discussing this. So she clearly doesn't want to have people uh, know what she's really doing there. So again, I invite you to um, uh, write SikhNet, who is the um, real voice of this Yogi Bhajan group and to um, uh, tell them that they shouldn't be doing these type of things and they shouldn't be promoting Gurmukhar, who they do promote quite actively. <laughs> starting to put um, their offerings in the fire and then chant the Hindu mantras that the Swami is doing. So you could hear there, that was the Swami chanting the Hindu mantras and Gurmukhar and the other Yogi Bhajan followers were participating as you can see in this whole thing. And so I want to read for you a response that I wrote to 
Ekon Karkar, when I first demanded that Gurmukhar cancel this event, I said, all the, internet, in all the internet, all the interfaith events that I have ever attended have been for communication and understanding between people of different religions. While there has been coming together for discussion, I have never heard of a genuine interfaith event where Jewish people have been expected to, to take Christian communion or where Hindus have been expected to participate in Islamic nimaz. Organizers of true interfaith events know how sensitive religious people are about their faiths and never set up events where people are expected to participate in some form of worship which is forbidden by their religion. Witness in this, vid in this YouTube video where I participated in a true interreligious conference where individuals of different faiths discussed religious matters and where there was no worship in ways that would be forbidden in the other religions. And I put a link to this YouTube video there in my comments. Now I just want to point out, this was the woman here who is the assistant to the Swami who answered Anju Kar's um, phone call and told her at Sikh News Network that Yogi Bhajan ashes were put in the Ganges by her um, wife and family. There with this, where this same Hindu uh, Swami did a puja there uh, and last Hindu last rite ceremonies for Yogi Bhajan. So um, again, this is the same woman who talked to Andrew Carr at Sikh News Network and confirmed that this was done there by Yogi Bhajan. And Yogi Bhajan knew this Swami quite well. I think Ramukhar is taking off on the fact that um, Yogi Bhajan um, participated in pujas with this sw same Swami. And you know we've sh shown that Yogi Bhajan was um, trying to teach these uh, Hindu teachings and trying to subsume Sikhi under the hin this Hindu Vata thing. Um, so it's a confirmed fact that this same um, Swami is connected with the whole Yogi Bhajan group. And here you can see how Gurmukh has gone to Rishikesh many times and done many, many pujas. Um, other Yogi Bhajan followers have done other pujas, you can see here. And then they're collaborating with this Swami. And I'll tell you, these Swamis just love this because that's what they want to do is they want to subsume uh, Sikhi and get these white Gora Sikhs into the Hindu Vata. That's their goal. And so they just love this. Anyway, we need to put up a stand against this. Here you can see Yogi Bhajan doing pujas there with this same Swami there in uh, Rishikesh. Same, and that's Yogi Bhajan's wife and son-in-law and daughter there. And this is a picture of those same uh, Hindu um, last rite ceremonies there that I was telling you about that Andrew Carr so well reported on with Sikh News Network, and I'll put a link to that. More Yogi Bhajan followers doing these um, Hindu artis there uh, in Rishikesh with the same Swami. Uh, it's looking more and more like they're going, the three HO people are going more and more towards these Hindu teachings, which is really, really disturbing and alarming. So let's write them, let's write Sikhnet. You can see how Sikhnet has promoted Gurmukhar in the past, how they've um, really been instrumental in promoting all of Gurmukhar's anti-Sikh and un-Sikh-like practices. This needs to stop. Now, there are a lot of good supporters, like Dal Khalsa has been writing and responding to uh, this uh, Gurmukhar, telling her that these are against Sikh practices, and we should continue to do that. So now let's see what Gurbani says about these things. It says in Gurbani, you, you may make burnt offerings, sacrificial feasts, and pilgrimages to sacred shrines and egotism, but your corruption only increases. You are subject to both heaven and hell, and you are reincarnated over and over again. Through burnt offerings, charitable feasts, ritualistic chants, penance, all sorts of austere self-discipline pilgrimages to sacred shrines and rivers, they do not find God. Self-conceit is only erased when one seeks the Lord's sanctuary and becomes Gurmukh. O Nanak, he crosses over the world ocean. So again, you can see how Gurbani is against these teachings and how the Sikh Mariata is against them as well. Again, let's write Sikhnet. Let's continue to protest these events that um, the Yogi Bhajan followers are continuing to, to promote. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Wahiguchi ka kalsa, wahiguchi kifa